Oh boy, I want to eat these chips, but they're so gritty and greasy. If only there was a way to make this experience a bit more surgically sterilized. I got you covered, literally. If you want to eat chips without getting your hands dirty, turn a Ziploc bag into a protective sheath. How's that for surgically sterilized? Wow. But that disgusting grease is still gonna touch my inside, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Maybe you'd be better off just staring at the bag and fantasizing about eating. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Thanks, life hack man. No need to thank me. It's my job. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. I'm never gonna get this friggin' door open. Sup, player? <gasps> It's life hack, man. Looks like you're having trouble finding the right key to that door. Yeah. Avoid the struggle in the future by using nail polish to color code your keys. Hey, that's great. Will it work with children? Because I run a daycare and I have a hard time telling those kids apart. Um, yes. Giddy up. Dang it! Ah, I burned my fingers again. Ugh, why must cozy comfort be so complex? Enter life hack, man. Cut down on charred fingertips by first lighting a stick of spaghetti and then using that spaghetti to light your candle. Wow. Except I feel like I could just light incense instead and that would take care of the whole problem. But then it wouldn't be a life hack, now would it? It would just be life. Great, I can never remember my flippin' password. If numbers and letters are too slippery for you to memorize, try shouting them out loud, which will burn them into your memory. How did you get in here? Wait, shout things to commit them to memory? Try it with something easy, like your social security number. Okay, but I'm gonna have to look at my card for this one, cause it's a real doozy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, I think you're right, it's starting to catch on. Very good, now let's try with your credit card number. Where is my dang stapler, I can never remember which of my idiot friends borrowed my stuff. Dude, keep track of your stuff by taking photos of each person with the item they are borrowing. Here, check this out. Oh, it's like a mugshot. I love it. No, my phone is at 1% and the power is out. How am I gonna document how hashtag blessed I am without my phone? So you need to charge your phone, but you ain't got no source of electricity. Well, who needs an outlet when you can plug that charging cable directly into a watermelon? Talk about getting your phone juiced up. That would be great, except I don't have a watermelon. Well, maybe this Apple will work instead. No, I don't think so. Maybe if I had an iPhone, but I've got an Android, so. <laughs> If I make a good impression in this meeting, I just know I'll get a promotion. I got a life hack for you. People subconsciously love warm hands. Talk to me. So try rubbing your hands together vigorously before greeting people at your meeting. Quick question. Are these hands warm enough to offset my icy demeanor? Well... Why am I so terrified? It's a date, not a firing squad. Hey champ, nervous about connecting on a date? Well, try building rapport by subtly mimicking the body language of the other person. You know what I mean? Uh... I think so. Okay, I'm not sure you do. So what do you do for fun? Well, I work in software and... But I don't know, girl. What's... What do you do? No. I want to hear more about you. So yeah, uh, I work in software. Uh, I actually work on the metaverse. Oh, hey, can I borrow that when you're done? Yeah, I have to go. Crap, I didn't bring a shopping list and I can't remember what's in my fridge already. No list, no problem. Huh? If you're sick of forgetting what you already have at home, just take a picture of the inside of your refrigerator and just like that, you will never need a grocery list ever again. That sounds too good to be true. I've taken the liberty of sneaking into your house and snagging a shot. Here, take a look. Oh, cool. The fridge was empty all along. Okay, calm down, girl. <laughs> it's just a job interview. Five hat mess. <laughs> Don't know the words yet. What is, what is this? What are you doing? Got an upcoming situation that's making you nervous? Did you know that chewing gum stimulates the part of your brain that makes you feel cool, calm, and collected? Oh, so I can just chew a stick of gum anytime the interview makes me feel uncomfortable? You know it, player. Tell us about yourself. Well, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, crap. What's your biggest weakness? Are you even qualified for this role? Can you work nights and weekends? What quality makes a good leader? What's the middle name of our CEO? Tell me about a time where you had an interview question so that you didn't like. Why'd you leave your life to five What question happened I asked you, you that? Do your parents love you? Look, all you need to know about me is, I'm good at keeping it calm, cool, and collecting. That's what I have to do. <laughs> Uh, I know I need to study for my future or whatever, but it's so boring. To motivate yourself to study, all you have to do is visualize someone you know who doesn't study and ask yourself, do I want to live that person's life? Oh, like my friend Chad? Sure. He parties nonstop, he has the fastest cars, and the ladies love him. See, do you really want to live that lifestyle for yourself? Do I really need to answer that? I can't believe how much waste humans produce. I wish there was another way. There is. I've got a life hack that's guaranteed to reduce your carbon footprint. All you have to do is quit your job. Without a job, you can't buy anything, which means you can't generate waste. Quit my job? I've been waiting for someone to give me permission to leave that godforsaken place. Life hack man's got your back, dude. Cool. And now I'm evicted. It's pretty cool not having a heating bill, though. Okay, 
I can do this. I can go number two at my best friend's mom's house. Ah, who am I kidding? I can't do this. There's gonna be so much noise. There's gonna be the splashes. It's so undignified. Or is it? <laughs> if you take a little extra turlet paper and drop it in the bowl, it acts as a sound absorber. Now it doesn't matter if you go number two or number 22. Okay, that's pretty neat. I can't wait to try it. You're gonna leave now, right? Ah, oh, I can't stand parties. They're so draining and everyone expects you to have social graces, whatever that means. I got you, fam. Also, the strangers you meet are pretty strange. If you're sick of parties and want a life hack that will send you home ASAP, try asking brutal questions that will ruin the mood and end the party early. Did you get a severance package when you got fired? How's the divorce going? I already say stuff like that. Life hack man! I think I'm gonna hack that life. I'm still working on it. Man, I feel so down today. It's like I want to go outside, but do I really? One surefire way to motivate yourself is to take something that you really care about and throw it out the window. That way you have to go outside and retrieve it. So let's take your precious journal right here and try. No! Oh well, I've always got the notes app on my phone. Okay, if you're not gonna go out on your own volition, I'm gonna have to give you a little pushy push. Oh, no, you lunatic! Oh boy, you should've just gone out on your own volition! Whoa, I am so good at helping other people, but you know what? It kind of feels good to be alone right now. Hey, I just made up my own life hack. If you ever need some me time, just push someone out a window. <laughs> I am amazing. Hack me my life, your life hack man! Oh, I think I'm onto something.